What is going on everybody? You're watching Next Gen Speed. Today we got another product for your 6th gen Camaro guys, which includes a 2016 and up Chevy Camaro. And this is a smoked third brake light for the back of your car, which is the back third brake light in the center. Now this third brake light is a plug and play process, a really easy installation. And this also includes the rubber seal on the back of it, includes all the adhesive, everything like that, it includes all the brackets on here. So it's a pretty easy installation, so I'm going to go over a little bit, and then we're going to go out to the garage, and then we're going to get it installed for you guys. So, As you guys can see, it is a smoked lens. Try to get a better light real quick. But this is not just the fully tinted third brake light, as you can see. The edge of it is tinted, but the center of it has a smoked finish to it, as you guys can see. It's pretty much put it on there to match all the black taillights we have and the reflectors to make it look all nice and kind of have match the color scheme we got going on. So we're going to head to the garage right now we're going to get this installed. But before I jump into that, I just want to let you guys know if you guys are interested in these, make sure you check out nextgenspeed.com. We have these in stock right now. And these are actually on sale right now for $89.99. So grab these before they run out because this is honestly a great ass deal for just a simple mod like this. So let's head to the garage right now. And besides this third brake leg right here, we got a lot more stuff coming to put on. Try to see smoke clear, brake lights, some side markers, and some stuff right there. But I'll get into that soon for you guys. Alright guys, we're in the garage. You can see this is the stock OEM one with my little vinyl sticker on there that says send nudes. Not sure if I should put that on there now. Put another one just to make it say send nudes again. But let me know guys what you guys want to see because people actually love this thing. Get a lot of compliments on it. I actually see a lot of people taking pictures of it too at stoplights and stuff, so it's pretty cool. Well, so to get this installed, I'm gonna take this out and just put the new one back in. So once you pop your trunk, you wanna take off this little liner right here. Pretty much just some clips right here, and that's pretty much it. So let's get to it. And you just wanna take a pry tool or a screwdriver and take out all these seven pins right here. Kind of a pain in the ass, but you'll get them. And then once you get that off, you just wanna pop this off right here. I just clips in, might need a screwdriver. As you can see, it just pops out right there, slides out. And then this top cover will just come right off. Oh, there you go. And then we'll just set this aside for now. And if you take a look under here, now that the cover is off, you want to take a look under here, you'll see access to the third brake light and the bolts. Now if you take a look at it, it kind of sits in like this, and with these two brackets right here on the inside, you want to remove these to make it more easier, because with these in the middle, you have some firmness to the third brake light, and by removing them, it'll be make it a lot easier to take out the third brake light and break the adhesive. So we're going to take these off real quick with a Torx 15. Let's get to it. As you can see right there, got one bolt right there, other bolt right over there, and then we got one plug in the center. Let's start by breaking the bolts. First one off. Second one is off. And with the clips I was talking about, you just want to take them and just pull them off. It'll just slide right out. Just like that. Now once you got this cover all off, you're pretty much almost done with the installation. So as you can see, under there is the bolt and everything, all the plugs and everything. But the only thing that holds this actual light in is this double-sided sticky tape on the back of this. As you can see right there, got the double-sided adhesive. And that's pretty much all that holds it in. All these clips right here, all these little bolts, that does not even hold it in place pretty much. So all I have to do is just break that seal and you're pretty much good to go. And to do that, you'll need a plastic pry tool or even like a credit card just to go along this edge right here and just kind of break it. And if it's not breaking free and it's kind of cold outside like it is over here, you want to use some heat to it. 
It can do that by using a heat gun or a hair dryer, just adding some heat to it, just to allow it to free it up a little bit and then pop it out. So let's get to it. Just go along the edge. And since it is requiring some force, we're gonna use the heat gun on this. As you can see right here, we kind of pried it away. Gonna take our tool, our credit card, or whatever we got. Just slice that adhesive. Should be good. To slice it good, get in there and pry it. It should just pop right off. You can see right there. I'm gonna take this plug off. Just take the plug off. And she's out. So now all I gotta do is take this adhesive that's around the corner right here, clean that up with some goo gone if it's still on there. And then take a solution of like water and isopropyl alcohol and just clean it up a little bit to make sure it has a nice clean surface for the new lamp to seat in and for that adhesive to stick good. Throw some goo off and get that stuff off. So now that everything's cleaned up, ready to go, we got a nice surface to put the adhesive on. We're gonna take off the double-sided tape first. Let's peel it off. All right, now that the tape is off, and to assure that it sticks as good as it can, we're gonna add some heat to the adhesive, which we'll be using the heat gun for. So take the heat gun, wave it around the sticky part of it to make it more sticky, just let it stick better. So, I'm gonna take the heat gun right here. And just go along the edge, not too much, but just to get it a little bit more sticky, just to promote adhesion. Now that's just heated up. I want to make sure you line it up right, make sure the top part's going up. As you can see right here, kind of curves up. We're gonna take the wire, plug it in. And now that she's plugged in, we're just gonna seat her in. Make sure the wire goes in first. And then we're just gonna line her up. And then push her. Whoop! Yeah, make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Pop her in. And this one to add some pressure to her. Just to make sure it sticks nice and good. Make sure I add a nice seal into there because you do not want any rain getting inside of here. So I'm gonna make sure the seal is 100% and nice and tight. Just like your girl. <laughs> and then we're just gonna take a microfiber towel Pull it up a little bit and just spread it around and just keep applying pressure until it dries. Or about like a minute or two. Just make sure everything's nice and stick. And nice, just make sure everything is nice and in place. And as you can see, we are good to go. She is fully installed, looking great. Honestly, a nice touch to the car. Makes it look very nice. Instead of just like a little vinyl sticker to go over it. So I'm gonna put everything back together and see how she looks with the taillights and everything with the car. 
and she actually has not been started in about two weeks. So let's get a cold start real quick. As you guys can see on this one, she is pretty much complete. Got the complete smoke tail light package. Got the reflectors down there, sequential tail lights, which I'll show you guys. The red signal. And now we got the smoke third brake light. Now if you guys are looking for that, make sure to check out nextgenspeed.com. I'll hook you up. We also have these tail lights right here in many different options. And we also offer a complete smoked lighting package, which includes these taillights right here, third brake light, rear reflectors right here, and they also include our smoked LED side markers, which I'll have a video on next. Making a review on those, doing an install, showing you guys all about them, and we just got those in also. So that's pretty much for this video though. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out nextgenspeed.com, we'll hook you up. And that's pretty much it, but. If you like and subscribe for more, I will see you guys next time.